Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, Dee. Um, snuff movies, fact or fiction? And if it's a fact, how is something like that possible? If it's fiction, how is that myth so strong? Are you serious? You, you, I mean, you're asking a question. You know that these films exist, don't you? What? You don't? The, the number of deaths on a yearly basis in New Mexico, Mexico, on the basis of what was described in the movie, that's not fiction, that's fact. So some say 3,000 a year, some say there's more, right? And how it's described in the story by uh, Brad, the character playing Western, um, to, to the counselor is saying to him correctly, have you ever seen one of these things? No, good, because to see it means you've probably paid for it, or somebody paid for it, make two accessory to murder, okay? Those are real elements and real, that's the real rule book. All of this exists, everything in this film exists. Yes. You can't believe they don't exist? Today, it's even a bigger business than ever. To, <clears throat> to Javier, do you consider th um, that an actor is like a chameleon? Is what, sorry? Like a chameleon. I, 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 no, I mean, an actor is many things. An actor can, uh, I mean, I don't know. It depends on the roles. There are so many great actors that uh, there is no one way of being an actor. There are many ways of being actors. and. Some are really chameleons, as you said, like you, it's hard to recognize from one role to the other. Some others are not. They go more in, on a straight line and they are wonderful to watch, so. What is my? my I, I don't have any style, unfortunately. I just go with what it is on the page and I try to be that guy and uh, sometimes I, I can do it and sometimes I can't. I mean, uh, I just want to be that person for a while, not to be, it's impossible to be that person, but just to imagine being that person. But most importantly, trying to make you believe that I am that person. Is that a hand up? <laughs> <laughs> Question for Sir Ridley. Um, did Cormac McCarthy interfere at all in the actual process of making the film? Sorry, sir, it's a bit booming, I'm sorry. Did Cormac interfere at all in the process? Um, Constantly. <laughs> um, but it was a challenge because he, I thought he'd come for a week, he was there for the entire period. So it kind of was amusing. But to have him hanging around like that was great. <coughs> he was, uh, uh, he's such a bright man and, um, and uh, when he has an opinion, I listen to it. So sometimes it got irritating. <laughs> it got really irritating sometimes. <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, the, the final result is I'm very, very happy with it. And I, I think he is, too. Sir? I have a question to Mr. Bardem now. Uh, you share most of your screen time with Cameron Diaz. How was it working with her and see her create this uh, one-of-a-kind character? Uh, I mean, when you work with great people with great material and an amazing director, things go very easy. It's, it's, as you said, you go there and proceed and things evolve naturally. It was easy and fun. And I think, as you, you're right, I think she does an amazing job with a role that maybe we haven't seen her doing so often. And it's a challenging role for any actress. And, and I guess she was very well protected by Mr. Scott in the sense that you, it's a leap of faith that, you, that we all had to do, and uh, we did, and he took a very good care of us. So I'm, I'm, I don't know, I haven't talked to her, but I'm sure she should be very proud of what she's done. She's very scary. I thought it was very brave, brave of her to put, put herself in that with you. Uh, no, I think, I think actors, good actors, are all constantly looking for a different path a different <coughs> story, a different, you know, platform, whatever you want to call it, they're always looking for different characters. So when something like that comes up, you grab for it, you go for it. 
Jack at the back again, yes? That, that means, Mr. Badem, you're a great actor, but I think you're better when you're bad. I mean, when you play a villain. <laughs> well, do, you think, do you think the villains, they are more interesting? How many interesting? times have you seen me being good? <laughs> do you think the villains, they're more <laughs> interesting? <laughs> you didn't answer. How many times you've seen me, you saw me being good? Beautiful. Let's see inside before my fault. I think it's a pretty good movie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so villains are more interesting characters than No, characters are interesting or not interesting. I don't care if they are rude or bad or mean or good or I mean people is we are I mean I don't believe in black and white. Uh I just look for roles that has something inside that is a mix of different colors that allows me to play and try different things, and uh, it, they are hard to find. They're hard to find. So I, I don't, I don't think in terms of villain, bad guy, good guy. For example, Rainer, I don't think he's a villain. I think he's a victim. I think he's a, a very lost sheep. You know, in all this, uh, in all this journey. He pretends and he talks a lot about many things, but he doesn't know shit about anything. And uh, he's lost and he's killed by that because he's naive. I won't call that a, a villain, I will call that a victim. And that's why I was drawn into it. <laughs>